Fossler. <clears throat> President Rice and members of the council, uh, my name is Scott Fossler. I live in Chevy Chase, Maryland. And as John Menke said, uh, let me pick up on, on his testimony. In the 1960s, the Northeast United States, including the Washington area, suffered such a severe drought that Congress commissioned the Army Corps of Engineers to come up with a 50-year plan to protect us from such a terrible drought in the future. The Corps concluded that a safe and reliable water supply for the Washington region would require 16 new reservoirs. And because our drinking water supply was river dependent, we needed those reservoirs that we didn't have before. We took nearly all of our supply from the Potomac River without the storage, transmission, and backup systems typical of large urban systems such as Boston, New York, and our neighbor Baltimore. As president of the county council at the time, I worked through COG with our counterparts in the other Washington area jurisdictions to fashion a plan that required just two reservoirs including Little Seneca. This new regional system was formalized in the 1982 Water Supply Coordination Agreement. How could we do that with just two reservoirs instead of the 16 urged by the Corps? Two basic factors. First, integration of the local water supplies, and second, absolute assurance that the two reservoirs, including Little Seneca, uh, would be protected and available when needed. The Corps' 50-year planning horizon has ended in 2010, three years ago, and I'm pleased to say that our regional alternative, two reservoirs instead of 16, has worked for that planning period. But what about the next 50 years? What about the next 10 years? Where's the plan? Without additional investment, will the current system accommodate the anticipated growth uh, for this period of time? Uh, what about the concerns that have been raised by the WSSC about climate change, among many other things, and the impact that that could have on our water supply system? The only real question is how much degradation will occur to the Ten Mile Creek and the Little Seneca Reservoir, and what does that threaten with our water supply? When the county executive Leggett discovered that the development impact on Little Seneca Reservoir had not been systematically studied. He asked me for an outline of what that study might look like. Some of the colleagues, including some people testifying tonight, put together such a study outline and we gave it to him. We provided copies to all of you and I asked that that be made a part of the record. Uh, what we ask you to do, quite simply, uh, is to honor our obligations to our citizens and our regional neighbors and do a systematic assessment before you act. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Mr. Fossler.